Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 17 in this series entitled Ajax in ASP.NET 4.5 using C Sharp. Ajax or Asynchronous JavaScript and XML is a set of web controls for more responsive and dynamic web forms. It is known to transfer data between the client and server without sending the entire page. ASP.NET Ajax is a Microsoft implementation of an Ajax-based framework. To start using Ajax, we need a script manager control, which acts as connection between client page and the server. When using master page, it is usually written directly in a content page, and it makes sure that the required ASP.NET Ajax files are included and that Ajax support is added. The update panel control is a control that contains the markup that is subject to partial update. It has two tags, the content template and the triggers. For activity number 17, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP activity 17. We will create a web form, update panel demo with calendar, and then we'll press control F5 immediately. We will look for the clicker when we select a day. Then we will create an update panel and put the calendar inside content template. We should not forget to add script manager above the update panel. Let's create our website, file new website. This is activity 17. Let's create our first web form, add new item. We'll call it update panel demo. Okay, so we'll remove this div and instead we will add a calendar object. Okay, as early as now, we have to look at it in the browser. Now, notice the flicker as we select the date there, 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 that's the flicker. Okay. To remove that flicker, we will not submit the entire page. So inside the form and above the calendar, we will type update panel and then press tab. Notice that Visual Studio automatically inserted the code for the update panel and the content template. So inside the content template, we're going to put this calendar object. So cut it and paste it. Okay, next thing is we must not forget to include the script manager, which is inside the Ajax extension. The script manager, so let's just drag it above the update panel. Okay. Now let's try to look at it in the browser. Now, anytime we're going to select a day now, we will never notice the flicker because this Ajax control uh, it doesn't submit anymore the whole page. Instead, it submits only those inside the content panel. And right now, content template, I mean. And right now, it's just the calendar. Sometimes the process is too fast that the user barely notices it or it's too slow and the user is already doubting if it hanged. To solve that problem, we have to use this update progress control, which can insert a text or an animated picture to let the user know that some processing is taking place. Some of the tags or attribute that are important to update progress control are the progress template, the associated update panel ID, the dynamic layout, and the display after. For our next activity, we will continue creating a new web form, update progress demo with a button. Before inserting the button, we have to be sure that we have already added the script manager, the update progress, and update panel that contains the button. Then we will create a thread of three seconds when we click the button that displays processing. Let's create a new web form, add new item, and we'll call it update progress demo so inside the form we must not forget to include the script manager and then below it let's type update progress and then press tab okay like update panel visual studio automatically gave us the script for update progress and progress template inside it so next is uh, inside the progress template, we're going to add the words processing, dot, dot, dot. Then we'll type below it, update panel, and then press stop. 
And inside the content template, we're going to include a button object. Let's go to the design view and double click this button. What we're going to do is to simply delay it for three seconds and show this uh, word processing. So we'll, use, we'll make use of threading. The method slip for three seconds, which is equivalent to 3000. Okay, let's look at it in the browser. Control F5. As we click the button, we'll see the word processing for three seconds and then class. For our next activity, we'll make use of timer control, which can be used with update panel to regularly update or post back. So we will create this a timer demo web form with a label. Before inserting the button, we'll make sure to add the script manager, the timer with an interval of 3000, and update panel that contains the label. Then we will create a trigger that posts back today's date and time in label every three seconds. Okay, so let's create our timer demo. Right click, add a new item, timer demo. First, we will add the script manager there. And under it is the timer, correct? Inside the timer, we will set the interval interval to 3000, which is equivalent to 3 seconds. And then under the timer, we'll put the update panel. So just update panel, 10 tab. Okay, inside the content template, we will include the label. This is where we will put the time inside the label. Now, after the content template, we have to declare the trigger, the trigger tab, so that we will know when will the label change its value. So we will declare an async postback trigger, which has two tags, the control ID, which we will set to timer one, and the event name, which is a type of tick for the time, when the time timer ticks. Okay, then the next thing is we have to go to the design view and double click the timer so we can click uh, create the event for tick. So all we have to do is to change the text property of label one to the date and time now to string. Okay. okay, let's look at it. So, in the browser, after three seconds, there. After three seconds, there. And another three seconds, there. So well, congratulations, because we just finished discussing Ajax and ASP.NET. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Mas salama.